Okay, we have the computer set up. We've uh, installed an extra drive from another computer uh, here. It's a little bit out of frame. And what we're going to do is we're going to power it up. There's a little switch on the front panel. And you can see the CPU fan spin up and the ch chassis fan spin up. And you can see the little numbers on the little display going through its boot sequence. Now I have this connected through a, a, a keyboard video switch. And one of the important things I learned was the boot up speed right, is asking for a uh, password in Windows. So it's already, it's already uh, booted in something around under, under a minute. So boot up speed is kind of dependent on the USB devices. So keyboard video switch, I purposely select another port so that the computer doesn't see any USB or minimal USB um, devices like the, uh, I think the only one connected is the, uh, the keyboard. So that speeds up the uh, boot up time very, very quickly. I have a USB camera that hangs the, all my computers. It's really old. So if you want boot speed, uh, put a hub on it and maybe put a switch and uh, so it doesn't have to boot all the devices. You can hear the fan speed. I have uh, uh, the only thing running in the room right now is a network storage device and it's uh, it's uh, the disk is uh, uh, looks like it's going through a antivirus or check so uh, what you're hearing right now is the fans which I was set for pretty quiet. It's running at uh, about 600 RPMs, and uh, it's actually quiet. It's the quietest computer I've ever built. Um, my network storage device is actually louder, and the disk drives in those are, when they're accessing or seeking, are a little bit louder than the fans here, especially when the, when the door is, uh, when the, the side panel is on. Okay, so the overclocker controller in the uh, in the front panel is a pretty handy thing. You can see here some of these buttons here. You can turn it. You can turn the display on and off. And then um, this first indication here is the temperature of the CPU, and right now it's 31 degrees. When the computer first boots, it's about 25. So we're running about six degrees over ambient, and I'm just doing normal. You know, Windows open, the browser, nothing really, really um, demanding. Um, maybe during my course of my work, this might bump up to 37 uh, degrees. And then um, the only time I've actually stressed out the computer so far is to, to make videos. And when I when I render the video with uh, Adobe Premiere, uh, this will hit uh, something like 52 degrees, so about um, 25, 26 degrees above it above ambient. This here is the um, fan speed and you can see that the fan speed when uh, I'm actually rendering a vin video will jump up to about 750 RPMs. Um, you can see that this is the the bus speed and this is the CPU mul multiplier and these little letters in here s stream through to give you a, a status indication. This, this little button here lets you control um, fans. I don't have any fans connected directly to this. And then this little button over here lets you um, um, change. Change. Um, you can preset some presets for your overclocking, and you can cycle between three different presets, which I don't have set up yet. And then you, know, you can also look at. Uh, it has inputs for other temperature sensors that you can monitor, and then it also tells you the CPU voltages. So this is the, the input voltage uh, at the, at the uh, CPU. You can see it scrolling across. So it's pretty handy at a glance. You can tell what's going on, and if you want to uh, quickly change uh, your, your overclocking mode, you can do that. Um, Asus with, also provides um, a lot of software tools to control the motherboard. And uh, there's a lot more controls with the software. So um, the the quick uh, updates, um, I think the software is maybe it might be a little bit more functional, but uh, this is definitely a, a, a quick